whole is greater than sum of its parts. Whole is greater than sum of its parts is a premise in natural medicine, especially in Asian medicine. What does that mean? I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you have a picture here or a picture in the background where you could see the image and understand the image what's there. But if you look at the image closely, you will see pixels, little dots. So a picture is made up of little dots. The dots are the parts. So when the dots come together synergistically together, and when we look at it as a whole, we see a new entity that arises. So that whole, the picture, is not the dot. The picture is a new entity. It's an idea or it's a vision or you could say something different that is not parts but is also made up of parts. That's what Asian medicine does. Asian medicine works on the whole so that its multiple effects are positive benefits that cascade downwards into the parts. So for example, you have low back pain or migraine or PMS or hot flashes and so on. We use the treatments that help you as a whole. It means it's human focused, not disease focused, so that your body is empowered to self heal in multiple ways. What are some examples that we are familiar with whole is greater than some of its parts? Let's give ex exercise as an example. Meditation, prayer, uh, positive thinking, yoga, uh, tai chi, um, cardiovascular exercise, or maybe more intense type of exercises. They help you in multiple ways. You cannot say there will be negative side effect unless you do too much of it. But when you do the right amount of it, you get all positive side effects, which are all benefits. And that's what whole is. And that's what whole does. Another example of whole is bigger than some of its, its parts is food. You have good meal, like good sets of uh, right food ingredients, based generally whole food, uh, plant-based foods, so less processed but more plant-based using phytonutrients and also other essential ingredients that you need, then they help you in multiple ways. So you've had examples of eating good meals and you notice that it raises your sense of well-being and especially in the last few decades people have discovered plant foods to be disease reversing. So we thought that we need to rely on disease-focused medi medication and medicines and we find that those are more dealing with the end result. So if we go more towards the original or the source of the problem, so you could say going up the river, so when you treat as far the river as possible, then the result cascades downwards giving multiple benefits and you can reverse diseases throughout that process along with improving your health, your well-being, and giving you the longevity. Yes, this also applies to the current situation related to coronavirus. It's not the virus. It is the way our immune system is responding to the virus. It's called cytokine storm. If there's too much proliferation of the virus and your body is not so healthy, it's inflamed, you got pre-existing diseases, then it's not at a place where it will respond properly. So it can overreact by producing too much of things that attack the virus and in the process of it, it harms the body. So therefore, what you want to do is you want to delay the proliferation or multiplication of the virus so that the body does not overreact and given enough time it will develop its antibodies and naturally resolve that. 
So we could hyper focus on this one solution or we could do this. Rather than waiting for others to help, we could help ourselves by enhancing the health of our bodies and our well-being so therefore our body could fight these things off properly the way it's meant to be or you could say naturally or you could say as a whole you treat the whole and the body knows what to do in specific details as with us we use three main methods acupuncture also treats the whole that's why we talk about meridians well you could ask where are the meridians in the body well it's not that question it's a new entity that arises from the parts or the functions of physiology, the anatomy that works synergistically together, then you get this new type of physiology that's happening and we get to address it at the upper level. So therefore the benefit cascades downwards. That's what acupuncture is about. That's why acupuncture treats so many variety of conditions, not just physical and inflammation. It also treats internal issues. Along with that, we have foods for the body types so that your body could work with the food to enhance its health rather than using food to directly deal with some type of a disease or dysfunction. That goes along with herbs. Herbs are full of phytonutrients that we are discovering now, well, the other side of the world. In Asia, we have discovered that these herbs are highly important in enhancing, empowering your body to do its job better. And in the process of it, the body resolves its chronic diseases. And that's why the herbs are important and also for the result of, again, higher sense of well-being and longevity. So therefore, you have daily better quality of living. So for this year, enjoy the upswing as you address your health through natural means.